Here on these episodes, we talk about all the fertility tips, tricks, and strategies that you must implement right away in order for you to fall pregnant faster. We leave none out. So keep watching. I'm Dr. Katie, a board certified family doctor. Here on Hey Doc, we talk about health topics with specific emphasis on women's health as well as fertility medicine. This trick has to do with ovulation tests. Do they work? Mm, let's talk about it. My views on ovulation tests is that they are a great tool in helping you to understand what is going on in your body so that you can capitalize on the information that these tools give you in order to work out when your fertile window is. Let's think about the scientific principle behind ovulation test kits. These tests help to detect the surge or the rise in luteinizing hormone, which occurs just before ovulation happens. So when you dip the test strip from your ovulation test kit, the change in color that you are observing is the detection of the luteinizing hormone. And we know that the surge in luteinizing hormone triggers the release of an egg from your ovary. And this is when you are most fertile. Basically, the egg that you have just released into your fallopian tube is just waiting and keen to meet with a healthy sperm cell. So ladies, my tip for this video is that ovulation kits are your best friend. Let's think about it. Once you know that you're just about to release an egg, it helps you to improve the timing of intercourse. A positive ovulation test indicates that your body will release an egg about 24 hours later. And so this is considered as your fertile window. So a couple can increase their chances of falling pregnant by having intercourse during this fertile window. Now, another thing that can help you increase the chances of falling pregnant is to understand that sperm cells can survive in a woman's reproductive tract for about five days. So having intercourse in a few days leading up to ovulation or your fertile window is absolutely appropriate. And in fact, I strongly encourage it because what it does is that it ensures that the sperm cells are already in your uterus and swimming up in your fallopian tubes, ready to meet that egg as soon as it is released from your ovaries. The second tip and trick for this video is a basal body temperature thermometer. Now, this tool is not to be used in isolation, but always in conjunction with an ovulation test kit. What happens is, once you've used the ovulation test kit and the LH surge has been detected, and you know that ovulation is going to happen about 24 hours later, once ovulation happens, the body's temperature increases due to the release of progesterone. So by tracking your body's temperature over the course of your menstrual cycle, a woman can identify the temperature shift that indicates that she has ovulated. I strongly recommend that you do not use a basal body temperature thermometer on its own. It would be more accurate and more helpful for you to use it in conjunction with the ovulation kit. But what is helpful is that if you use the basal body temperature thermometer throughout your menstrual cycle, you will be able to confirm that rise in temperature that happens once you have ovulated. And so it's another tool that helps to confirm your fertile window. That's all for this episode of Fertility Tips and Tricks. Remember to subscribe and we will see you in our next video. Take care and we'll see you later.